As our lives become increasingly technocentric, unexpected power outages are often more inconvenient than ever. Not only do we lose access to modern conveniences like the television and the internet, outages of essential equipment such as security systems, lighting, and refrigerators can lead to unsafe environments. The havoc wreaked by high winds, thunderstorms, and even grid maintenance can impact a home and business owners for days with few options other than to wait for the power to turn back on. Fortunately, we live in the 21st century where you can actually power your home during these unexpected outages. And there are two readily available solutions. Yes, two to keep you out of the dark, a solar system with battery backup or a home generator. In this week's video, we'll assess your options for home backup solutions and the main difference between generators, specifically portable generators used for essentials backup and a solar plus battery backup systems, specifically for small essential battery backup. I'll discuss overall cost, reliability, environmental impact, power outputs, and smart technology integration. Now, before we start comparing the two solutions, please take a second to subscribe to our channel by clicking that big red button down below, and be sure to click the little bell icon too. That way, you'll receive notifications on future videos just like this one. And for those of you interested in portable generator backup or essentials home backup, whether it's to add on to your existing solar system or to get a whole solar system with battery backup, then be sure to visit us online to request a hassle-free quote. I've included some very special links in the description below to help you learn more about both home backup solutions that we offer. For those of you that don't know, I'm Dale with Pacific Sun Technologies, and you may be wondering, why do I need a home backup solution? And the short answer is you may not. It really depends on where you live and your situation. Most people today opting for a home backup system do it for emergency purposes because they have experienced power outages in their area numerous times, or they're preparing for the future power outages. And thanks to the advancements with solar and battery technology, more and more homeowners today are actually opting to go solar with battery backup because they can power their home with sustainable energy while saving money at the same time. Something you just couldn't do with a generator. Newer battery backup systems like the Enphase IQ batteries, which we offer and are certified for, come equipped with smart technology that helps you maximize the efficiency of your system in a multitude of ways. You can actively track your energy usage from the grid, solar, and batteries. You can gain insight into your own energy habits, which allow you to save money on your energy bills. Now, there are some significant difference between how a solar plus battery backup system works compared to a home generator. Backup batteries such as the Enphase IQ3 and IQ10 can perform a variety of tasks. These systems can connect to both solar using Enphase IQ microinverters and the electric grid. The energy that is generated from your solar panels can be stored within the battery system for use at a later time and the excess power that you don't need for your home or your batteries can be sold to the utility company for credits to offset your utility bill. In the event of a power outage, the system will actually automatically switch off from the grid and begin pulling power from the backup batteries. Or if the power outage occurred during the day, it'll use the solar energy to keep the batteries at a 100% state of charge, thus allowing you to go longer during the power outage. The alternative to a home battery backup system with solar is a home generator system, which these usually rely on fossil fuels like diesel, gasoline, natural gas, or liquid propane to power your home in an emergency. Similar to a battery backup system, standby generators can detect when a power outage has occurred and switch off from the grid to begin supplying power to your home. Obviously, this will last until the grid power has been restored. If you're considering a portable generator backup system, then you'll need a manual transfer switch for the generator and you'll have to manually plug it in and turn it on. This can be time consuming, but you will eventually have backup power. Depending on the age and type of the system in place, this can be less seamless than a solar system using Enphase microinverters and batteries for backup. 
When looking at what really differentiates a battery backup from a generator's, you must look at the reliability. Now, both home battery backup systems and home generators are reliable sources of power. But which one makes the most sense depends on your individual needs. Home generators are often a better option for homeowners that are rural, tend to use a lot of power, and are prone to prolonged periods like several weeks off the grid with no sunlight. So we're talking severe storms going on. It's important to note that Enphase's backup systems are generator ready, which allows certain types of generators to be wired into the system if you prefer a redundant backup configuration, meaning you would have solar backup, battery backup, and generator backup. A home battery backup system holds less energy capacity than a home generator. That's a given. However, home batteries are often more reliable in providing completely uninterrupted power. Although newer generators have automatic transfer switches, they can take up to a minute to activate, requiring all the appliances to turn off and then back on again, which isn't great for computers, televisions, other modern day appliances. Enphase's home backup system activates backup power literally in fractions of a second. It's so fast, many of our homeowners report they didn't even notice the power outage occurred. Another big difference between home battery backup and generator backup is the fuel. A home battery system will be able to draw from natural sources of power indefinitely with a continuous flow of energy until the main power is restored. Obviously, by indefinitely, I'm talking about the sun. If there's no sunshine, obviously you can only run off your batteries for so long. Homeowners should consider their energy consumption when choosing a home backup system, as a single IQ3 battery can only hold so much power in it. But not to worry, if you use a lot of energy, you can pair several of these IQ batteries together to increase your storage capacity up to 42 kilowatt hours and that also increases your backup capabilities. By contrast, a portable home generator will need continuous refueling until power is restored, which means you need to keep gasoline or diesel stored in your garage unless you convert the unit to liquid propane. But you still need to keep several tanks on hand because you don't know how long the power outage is gonna last. There's also natural gas method, but that tends to be exclusive feature to standby generators, which we're not really focusing on in this video. Since we're on the topic of fuel, I think it's important to note the environmental impact of generators having used carbon-based fuels compared to solar and batteries, which use sustainable energy sources to reliably power your home. Another innovative and distinguishing feature of a solar system with battery backup is smart home integration. The systems we install using Enphase microinverters and IQ batteries come with a smartphone app called Enlighten that allows you to monitor and manage your home's energy usage. You can even configure the different modes of operation depending on your energy goals. This type of smart home technology is somewhat exclusive to solar and battery systems. You really wouldn't get this type of home monitoring with a portable generator or even a standby generator for that matter. Now, for those of you that cost is an important part of the investment, this can be a big deciding factor when choosing a solar system with battery backup over a generator. Remember, power usage is relative to the individual. A family of five is going to use more energy in most cases than a family of one or two. And it is equally important to understand how a properly designed system can fit your needs and your budget. The pricing I'll be showing you are approximations and will vary depending on your location, configuration, and situation. For those of you that already have solar panels on your home and you're using Enphase M-Series or IQ-Series microinverters, the upfront cost of two IQ3 batteries with all the appropriate equipment and materials for backup will be around $14,575 with each additional battery adding somewhere around three to $4,000. This is of course pre-tax credit. See, Solar's got a tax credit, which is currently set at 26% until the end of 2022. This tax credit helps reduce the overall investment costs for adding on Essentials battery backup to your existing solar system, 
by about $4,000, giving us a net system cost of $10,785. That's not too bad. Now, if you don't already have solar, then your investment is going to be larger because you're buying two systems at once, the solar and the batteries. This shouldn't scare you though, please don't be deferred because we can offer you some great financing options to make this investment easier on the wallet with affordable low monthly payments. Basing the pricing on the average system size of six kilowatts using 15 REC Alpha Pure Black 400 watt modules paired with 15 IQ8 microinverters. These are the IQ8M specifically. And we're still using two Enphase IQ3 batteries for essentials backup. You're looking to be set back about $36,945 before the 26% federal tax credit, which would bring your net system cost to $27,340. Remember, Solar will help you save money and a six kilowatt solar system will typically offset an electric bill from Edison of around $180 a month on average. Or if you're someone that lives in San Diego gas and electric territory, you could be saving as much as $300 a month on average. Again, this is before you factor in your monthly payment of a loan if you did that. Applying the same scenario to a home portable generator for essentials backup you start to see the cost for battery backup systems isn't that far off. I mean, it's really come a long way. I understand some portable generators can be found for as low as $500, but you need to have a 240 volt outlet in order to do essentials backup. That is unless you plan on running a bunch of extension cords around your house, but that just sounds like a freaking nightmare to me. Regardless, most portable generators used for essential backup come with a 30 amp or 50 amp outlet on them. As with anything, the quality and the size of the generator is going to really dictate this final price. If you wanna be on a budget side, you can usually find a good 30 amp, 240 volt generator for just around $1,000. Since we're comparing portable generator backup, you need an electrician to install the emergency loads panel and relocate circuits into that panel. This isn't required, but it is highly recommended to prevent overloading of the generator during the power outage. You also need a generator inlet, a generator extension cord, and a manual transfer switch or interlock kit. All variables considered, the average cost, including installation, is usually around five or $6,000 for a portable generator backup system installed. If you were curious on the cost of a standby generator system, well, you can expect to spend typically between 10,000 and 25,000. It really depends on the standby generator that you're getting. While the portable generator backup system is less than the essentials battery backup system add-on, it's important to remember home generators incur more costs over time, such as the purchasing and storing of fuel and the maintenance costs associated with them. These two costs alone over time will not likely make up the difference between two, the two configurations. But for those of you watching that live in suburban area with very few power outage, this is still a cost that a home battery system doesn't rely on. To emphasize my point, portable generators require constant refueling from fossil fuel sources and depending on how frequent and long the power outages last in your area, well, you actually may spend the difference purchasing fuel on a regular basis. It's, it's really hard to say, but it is definitely something that you can't rule out. Some of you may choose to run the generator from natural gas line or liquid propane, which is great, but you will still be paying for that fuel. In times of extended emergencies and widespread need, these resources, be it gasoline, diesel, propane, natural gas, can be exorbitantly expensive and depending on demand, honestly could be readily unavailable. As for maintenance costs, if you choose a battery backup solution for your home, very little maintenance is required. The systems we install today from Enphase's eighth generation microinverters come with a standard 25 year warranty and their IQ batteries feature a 10 year warranty with an extended 15 year option. The only battery on the market to offer an extended warranty. 
Now, warranties aside, solar technology is inherently reliable, more so than it has ever been thanks to years of research and development. And this can also be said for battery backup systems. I mean, we freaking have cars that go hundreds of thousands of miles on battery power. I think it's safe to say it just works. Home generators, on the other hand, require more frequent testing to ensure the system is running safely while attached to your home. It is recommended that you actually run a portable generator once a week for around 30 minutes to maintain continuous use, much like a traditional car. I mean, if your car just sits there, it kind of stops running right. Time is money, so this time should be considered as an expenditure and should be calculated into your maintenance costs. Standby generators typically have an annual inspection by a professional technician, which should suffice if it isn't reused frequently, but owners should still conduct their own monthly check of the system's oil, coolants, if it's not air-cooled, fuel and visual piping and the wire. Now, the potential electricity savings that comes from a solar system with battery backup can be a difficult number to estimate, as there are many different rates and tariffs around the world. I did note some earlier in this video between Edison and San Diego Gas and Electric, but that's just for our area that we service here in Southern California. As you can tell, broad generation generalizations can differ significantly from one location to the next. However, there are several opportunities to save on your utility bill. For example, in the US, there's the 26% federal tax credit available for solar systems and battery backup systems. Modern battery backup systems can monitor and switch to using stored energy during peak time, saving on time of use rates or demand charges. And some states, like California, have actually developed rebate programs to help homeowners buy a battery backup system if they live in a high risk power outage area. None of these mentioned savings are possible with a home generator, but that shouldn't defer you from considering your options. And I think the last and probably most important deciding factor besides costs and savings is the power output of a generator compared to a battery backup system. As with all systems, output range with capacity. This goes for the batteries and the portable generators. But continuing our comparison of essentials backup with output of two IQ3 batteries, you're looking at 2.56 kilowatts with 6.72 kilowatt hours of storage energy. In an emergency situation, this could last you from a few hours to several days, depending on the energy consumption in your home. If your home battery is connected to an end-phase solar system using microinverters, it will continuously refill the batteries as long as the sun is out. As an added perk, you increase your backup power during the day based on your solar system size and the weather conditions. Based on the design we did in this video, you could have up to a 7.5 kilowatt solar system and battery system for backup. That's not too shabby at all. That's a substantial amount of backup capabilities. For longer periods of emergency, Home generators can often withstand longer outages due to their kilowatt hour capacity in general, but you have to have enough fuel on hand, so that's an important variable. Plus, most suburban homes honestly won't be able to have standby generators installed due to building code restrictions specifically regarding the setback requirements. You have to have certain clearances to have a standby generator because of the carbon emissions, which means you would have to go with a portable generator, which while inexpensive, has its own challenges and doesn't quite provide the same amount of power output as a standby. It's more in line with what we're proposing with the Enphase system. I guess we've kind of reached the big question of this video. Is a home battery backup system right for you or is a portable generator better? Knowing which system is best for you really comes down to your individual wants, needs, and circumstances. Your first consideration should be overall power usage. If you are in a particular disaster prone area where lengthy power outages can occur, home generators can have the capacity to power your home for up to several weeks because you probably live in a rural area, so it makes sense. They incur a lesser upfront cost, but require frequent maintenance and can sometimes have a shorter lifespan than a home battery backup system 
if you neglect to maintenance it or you just skip it all together. However, if you are not frequently experiencing natural disasters and extreme weather conditions, a home battery backup system, system could be a better choice. These systems are quieter, much more energy efficient for the environment, have double the lifespan of a generator in most circumstances, and they can save you money at the same time. They also have the added benefit of smart home technology, which allows you to monitor the performance and configure the system to save you more money during peak energy usage times. And for those of you that want the best of both worlds because you need an additional layer of protection when it comes to backup power, certain generators can be wired into the Enphase system, giving you solar backup, battery backup, and generator backup. Overall, when it comes to a home energy storage system and generators, it's best to consult with a trusted professional like Pacific Sun Technologies, who's certified to assess what's right for your home. I know one thing is certain, you do not want to wait until the next power outage. Contact one of our team members to find the right fit for you today by using the link I've provided in the description below. We're a hassle-free company. We're not here to get you to do anything you don't want. You at least can get the facts though. Well, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.